priced. <laughs> they cost the the half gallon of of the uh, alternative milks end up being more money than the regular cow's milk, and they have disgusting too much sweetener in there. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're spiked. Obviously, I'm talking about rice milk that doesn't have that sweetener in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the Asian, the Asian markets have the unsweetened. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the unsweetened milks, and uh, like I said, you know, if you if you if you need a little flavoring, use stevia. It's natural. It's safe. Uh, all right. Do we have? I have a quickie, maybe. Yeah, I wanted to keep it brief, but you know, I knew we were going to start debating with. You this, want something light, or you want Mr. Chris? With this fucking uh, with the quotas and the affirmative action, I knew we were going to debate over, it, so it killed a lot of time. Uh huh. Um, but did it inform? It okay. should inform. We took enough time to, to, to discuss no, it. I don't know. Maybe it needs more discussion. I still say there's special treatment is not fair to everybody. That's what I'm saying. All right. Why do we need fair, you know, special treatment? That's the point. In a fair society, you wouldn't need special things. Just like right now, we don't need special interests lobbying our government. Like big corporations do, but we have it. They get That's their, what we have. They get their way because they wave enough money under the politician's right, nose. So, so let's see. You know, the whole system is corrupt. You have a Chris Christie one. I have a Chris Christie one. I am becoming very annoyed with Governor Christie's Napoleon-like attitude. Napoleon. He's like about a, two dozen Napoleons in one. I voted for him. Well, and I believe he has done many good things. What? This guy's a jerk. But he needs to remember that he is an elected official and not a dictator. He's done many good things. Christie backs the elimination of the Rutgers University Board of Trustees, which would give the Board of Governors more power. If it weren't for the Board of Trustees, the Camden facility would now be a part of Rowan University. Since the Board of Governors is packed with political appointees, you see where people, the big boys go to get a job when they retire or whatever? They could go on to boards of corporations or, or, or other, you know, corporation jobs and things. Cronyism. Yeah, you wash my back and I'll wash yours. It may be more important to eliminate them and give more power to the trustees. We already have too many political entities dictating our everyday existence. Whatever happened to listening to voters? That's right. Who provide the money used so freely by political parties on both sides. Most recently, Christie says he has no problem with Rutgers president Robert Barchai's affiliations with VWR International, which has done $15 million in business with Rutgers since 2008, and is slated to do $2 million more in 2013. Christie apparently believes that Rutgers recognizes the value of having its chief executives in such positions. That would be valuable to whom? Students who face a rise in tuition? Faculty? Alumni? Or the political appointees who see no conflict? It's time for politicians to understand that they work for voters! Not their own agenda. That's right. They work for who? Voters! Oh yeah, they certainly do. He's uh, well, he's a, he's a horse's ass for voting for a Republican. No, no so kidding. He got what he deserved. He he wanted him. He got him. But he, you know, like everybody else, they're aware that voting for Chris Christie was a huge mistake. No pun intended. A huge mistake more ways than one. So anyway, it's time for
Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. And we'll see you when we come back.